The Koti Sopola Pass is a mega pass by any standards. It's very long at 32 kilometers and displays an altitude variance of 1,066 meters. With a summit height of 3,244 meters, headaches and nosebleeds might be experienced by travelers from the coast who have not had time to acclimatize. It's the second highest pass in Lesotho and is also commonly referred to as the Black Mountain Pass. Packed into that length is a total of 139 bends, corners and curves, of which 8 have angles in excess of 90 degrees, and of those, 6 are hairpin bends, all of which occur on the southeastern side of the pass. The pass is subject to lots of snow in winter and ice on the roadway can make things highly dangerous even for four-wheel drive vehicles. For those approaching from the south, in the direction that we filmed it, first drive up the Sani Pass from South Africa and after clearing the Lesotho border control point, drive northwest for six and a half kilometers to arrive at the southern start of the pass. The pass officially starts at the crossing of the Sani River at 2,178 meters and meanders in a northeasterly direction for several kilometers before commencing with the more gritty part of the ascent. The speed limit throughout the pass is 60 km per hour or slower as indicated. Koti Sopola is actually a community council located in the Mafateng district which is in the southwestern quartile of Lesotho and a long way from the pass bearing its name. The Koti Sopola Community Council is formed by 36 small villages. You'll need to gear down to second or even first gear for this section depending on the type of vehicle that you're driving. The gradients here are as steep as 1 in 5. It's important to know that large trucks require the entire width of the road to clear their hairpin bends. Always scout ahead and stop and wait as needed. The first set of switchbacks occur at the 3.3 km mark at 2,831 meters and climbs up a double set of hairpins climbing 290 meters in just one kilometer. This road and the vast majority of new roads in Lesotho were built by Chinese construction companies. Take note of the quality of construction, including the very good water drainage systems, safety railings, gabions and retaining walls. The road continues climbing into the northeast at a slightly easier gradient of 1 in 8, but it's still steep. The second set of switchbacks are reached at the 4 km mark at an altitude of 3,075 meters. At the 4.5 km point, the road swings sharply to the left through a 120 degree turn and levels off. At the apex of this turn, on the right hand side, there's a truck arrestor bed.
lovely views can be enjoyed to the left along the section which lasts until the 6.2 km mark. Here the road climbs up the last section to reach the summit of 3,242 meters at the 7.3 km mark. Be sure to watch parts 2 and 3 of the fabulous Cortisopola Pass.